Good, good Saturday morning. Welcome to Lower Life's Devotional. So delighted to have you with me for a few minutes to begin the day. Well, it is Saturday. Tomorrow's the Lord's Day. I pray that you will prepare your hearts, find a good place of worship, and enjoy the blessings of the Lord's Day tomorrow. Thinking this, I was reading from the Roman letter. Paul wrote to the church at Rome, and in the sixth chapter, said, God be thanked that you were the servants of sin, but ye obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered unto you. Being then made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members' servants to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity, even so now yield your members' servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I was thinking about the, the 21st verse. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Now I thank the Lord that the grace of God has kept me from a life of deep sin. I can't boast about how he has delivered me from drugs or alcohol or tobacco or gambling. I can't boast of how God has delivered me from a life of debocracy and deceit and and criminal activity. Uh, I thank God for those that have been delivered from all of that. But I thank God that I've been kept from that. But on the other hand, I think about still in my past, and I know another place the apostle said, forgetting those things which are behind, and yet we aren't really capable of erasing the past. And Paul mentioned here those things whereof ye are now ashamed. And even though, like I say, I don't have... Uh, deep sin and criminal activity to be ashamed of, but I have to say I've done a lot of dumb things in my life. I've made some bad choices. I've done some things that uh, just write down stupid. And I know today that uh, while I don't suffer the guilt of that, we don't have to have any guilt of the past. God forgives us and uh, we don't have to bear the guilt of our any wrongdoing or any of our uh, lack of judgment, uh, but there sometimes is shame because Paul said that there are things that we are now ashamed of. So the stupid things that I've done, the bad choices that I've made that haven't really served me well, I think that, uh, you know, I can do nothing about that. It's in the past. They're not a thing about yesterday or the days before that I can change. I wish I could. I wish sometime we could turn the calendar back and change things. We wouldn't do some of the things that we did. We would do other things that we didn't do. But we cannot do that. We have absolutely no way in the world of going back in time to either undo or to redo anything. But you know, I'm so glad that we've got today. And we've got the hope of tomorrow. And I do believe that even though there are things in our past that we are ashamed of, yet uh, we've got today that we can make good choices. We've got today that we can do the right thing. We've got the hope of tomorrow that we can plan our life out to live a life of righteousness unto God. And Paul said that if we're free from sin, we become servants to God and we have our fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. So I'm glad that even though we can't do anything about yesterday, yet we have today and we have the hope of tomorrow and we can make right choices. We can do the right thing. We can uh, think things out and ask God for wisdom. A lot of the things that I refer to as stupid because I didn't go to God and ask for wisdom before I did them. I didn't acknowledge him and let him direct my path. And yet today we can acknowledge the Lord and allow him to direct our path. If we lack wisdom to make the right choices today, 
We can ask for wisdom. The Bible said, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. So you know I want to acknowledge him that he may direct my paths today. I want to ask him for the wisdom that I need to do the right thing so that uh, when tomorrow comes that I won't look back and think I'm ashamed of some of the things that I did, some of the choices that I made. We can do the right thing today and with the hope of tomorrow, purpose in our heart that we're going to follow God. Heavenly Father, we know we can't undo the past. We can't change anything about things as it brings shame into our life. But we're so glad that we have today, Lord, in the hope of tomorrow to make the right choices and to do the right thing. Help each one of us to do so. Bless us as we prepare for the Lord's Day tomorrow. Make it a great day for your people. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'll see you Monday now on Lower Lights Devotional, and I hope to see a whole bunch of you tomorrow at the Lighthouse Chapel. Goodbye now.